So now we have our shotgun. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Bigger Games tutorial. In this series, we are going through and remaking Call of Duty Zombies using Unity 3D. And today, in this tutorial, we are going to be adding wall emblems that you can purchase weapons off of, like you can in Call of Duty Zombies. The wall emblems that we're using came from a tutorial that we did a couple days ago, and we will be providing all the wall assets for you. So you don't have to worry about that, but if you have other weapons that you want to do, you can go and look at that tutorial and get a wall outline for those as well. So let's go back to where we left off last time and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a prefab for our wall purchase emblem. And for that, I'm going to insert a quad into the scene. You can go to game object, create other, and go to quad. And that will put a quad in the scene. And I am going to line it up so we can see it right here. And I'm going to add a material onto the quad. This is a gun outline that I already have pre-made. And I showed a tutorial on how to do that with any object through um, GIMP and Unity 3D. So I've provided the outlines for you, but if you want to do it yourself or do additional guns, you can go and check out that tutorial and it will show you how to do it. So here I'm going to add the scar outline. And we have our outline. I'm just going to resize it a little bit so it looks better. I'm going to rename this object wall purchase and I'm going to add a script onto it which is a script that's on all of our weapons and it gives each weapon an index so we will know which weapon we want the player to buy when he comes up to the wall purchase. So I'm just going to search for it in the project window. Uh, it's called weapon index and you can drag that onto the wall purchase. And as you can see, the component on the inspector tab will show you the set weapon and for the scar it is a zero. So go ahead and put zero. And I'm going to modify this script, the weapon index script, so that we can have a price for the object too. So here I have public int set price and you can set the price in the user interface. So just save that and go back to the scene. And when you click on wall purchase, you can now define the weapon and the price. And I'm gonna set the price to 10 for now so we can make sure that it's working. Next we need to tell the game when to allow the player to buy this weapon. So for that I'm going to go into the player weapon manager. It's nested way down in there and there's a script on there called weapon manager. Open that up and here it shows how you can pick up weapons. It's already part of the FPS kit that we picked up. And there's a few things I'm gonna to add to the script first. I'm gonna add a new layer, a new layer mask so we know what we are looking at when we're looking at the wall purchase object. So here public layer mask and then name it layer mask purchase. And next I'm going to add a bool called show purchase GUI and this will come into play when we are displaying on screen the prompt for the user to buy the weapon and next I'm going to add two ints here one is going to be set price and one is going to be set price ammo and this will hold the value for the price and the ammo so that we can display it on screen when the player goes and looks at the wall purchase. So next we are going to go down to the update function and in here you can see around line 98 there is a if statement and this if statement allows the player to pick up a weapon. We can use pretty much everything in this if statement for our wall purchase so I'm going to copy and paste this and make a few changes and we'll walk through that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is tell it to save the price. So set price, the one that we just created up top, prefab dot set price. And this set price on the prefab is a weapon index variable. Uh, we just opened the script and added that to the script. So now we can access that through here and we are going to save it as set price. And then right under that, I'm going to put set price ammo. And to make it easy, I'm just going to set it as set price over five. So if the weapon is $1,000, it will cost $200 for more ammo. And in this if statement, it checks to see what guns we have. And if it's already in one of our guns, we set equipped to false or else we set it to true. And this is how we'll determine whether we're going to allow the player to buy the weapon or buy more ammo. And then here we have show weapon GUI. That's from the other one. We want this to be show purchase. GUI equals true, and then down here, show purchase GUI equals false. 
And this will go into an if statement down below where we tell the screen to put text on the screen for when the player is near the object. And down here in this if statement, we have if not equipped and button down is E, then we can pick up the weapon. But here we want to change it a little bit. We want to be able to pick up the weapon in the same way, but we also want to check if the player has enough money. So I'm going to put player cache, game management player cache, and we can access it, remember, because that's a static variable and it is greater than or equal to the price, which is set price. And here, the next line, we have drop weapon. And if you want the player to drop the weapon when they buy a new weapon so they can come back and pick it up later, you can leave that in there. I'm gonna take it out. So in this case, it will just destroy that weapon. And then we are going to subtract the amount of money that it costs to buy the weapon when they do take the weapon. So just change the greater than or equal to to a minus equals. And then in the else, we are gonna handle buying the ammo instead of the gun. So up here we have if not equipped. So if it is equipped, we want to have it by ammo instead of the gun. So it will pass through to this else statement. We have if input dot get button down E, we want to have the player buy the ammo. So the set element equals to eight, that is the grenades. Don't worry about that for now. Um, if it's not grenades, we're going to tell it to buy regular ammo. So we're going to create a function called buy ammo. And we need to tell it what gun we need to buy the ammo for. So pass through set element to this function and we'll create this function in a second. So down below I'm going to put void buy ammo. And here we want to pass through an integer weapon index. And to save a little bit of time I'm going to copy and paste a piece of code. I'll walk through it right here. We have if weapon index equals equals zero, which is the SCAR machine gun, uh, we want to increase the magazines by three. And that is a script that handles the machine gun uh, ammo. So we are going to reference that to the weapon in use and it's going to get the component weapon script new. And this will pass through the ammo information that we have so we can add more ammo to that uh, element. And below that we have mags.magazines plus equals three. And that'll give us three additional magazines. Below that, I set it up for the shotgun, which we will do after the scar, but the weapon index for the shotgun is six and it has a different script that handles the ammo. So it's the same method that we used here, but it's a different script and they are called bullets and not mags. So bullets.magazines plus equals five. Now give us five more magazines for the shotgun. So if we go back to the if statement we were modifying before that handles buying the weapons. And I don't think I mentioned this before, but in this if statement, the way that it knows that we are looking at the uh, wall purchase is this raycast right here. And this will return whatever you are looking at um, in the distance, within the distance that you define. So our distance is pretty short, so it only comes up when we're really close to it. And we need to tell it what layer we need to look at when determining what we're looking at. So here, I am going to use the layer mask that we created up top, which was purchase, I believe. And we'll define that in the UI in a minute. Now if we go back down to the else statement, we have our else by ammo set element. So that'll pass through the zero if it is a scar and it should give us ammo, but we still need to subtract the player price. So here in the if statement, like I did before, I'm going to say if player cash is greater than set price ammo, and then when we buy the ammo, I'm going to subtract that from the player cash. So last we need to tell it when to show the text on the screen when we walk up to the wall purchase item. And that can go down into the on GUI function down below where it already defines what to show when we have a weapon we're looking at and when we have ammo we're looking at. But remember we created a new show purchase GUI variable and that's what we're gonna use. But it's in the same uh, fashion as this other one. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it and modify it a little bit. So I'm gonna change this to if show purchase GUI, which goes through when you're looking at it and you're close enough when the Raycast sees that you're close enough to that object and you're looking at it. And below that, we're going to say if not equipped. And remember, this is the bool that tells us if we have that weapon or not yet. We are not equipped, so we want to buy the weapon. So here, I'm going to modify the text string to press key E to purchase weapon. 
and I'm going to add a dollar sign and I'm going to add the set price so it shows the price to the player and the else is if they already have the weapon so this will be if they want to buy ammo we're gonna get rid of the press E or the weapon is already equipped just press E to to buy ammo and then we're gonna put the price of the ammo again set price ammo and save the script so back in unity select your wall purchase object and we need to change the layer to the wall purchase so I added a layer in the user layer 8 layer mask wall purchase you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter what matters is when we go into our weapon manager we set the layer mask you can see at the right layer mask purchase we need to define that as the layer that you just created so it knows what layer we are talking about. So now if we press play and go over to it, we should see text on the screen. So we have here, we have press E to purchase. And if I press E, it gives me that weapon and subtracts $10 from the player cash. So now I have this weapon and let's just see if the ammo part works. So you can see we have 130, 116 bullets. And when you buy it, it actually gives us only three bullets. There's two modes for the bullets and one is magazine mode and one is bullet mode. And I thought we were in magazine mode, but we're in bullet mode. So I think that'll be better actually because most games uh, are, are not using magazines. They're using just bullets. So if you have half a clip left and you reload, you know, it, it'll just subtract the bullets and not an entire clip. So. It works out better this way. I just need to go and modify how many bullets that we're going to give the player. So I am going to put 100 for the magazine and then 14 for the shotgun. So now that we have a working wall emblem, I'm going to save it as a prefab. And to do that, just click the object and drag it down into your project folders. I'll drag it into prefabs. And I'm going to add one more for the shotgun. So I'm gonna drag that prefab in here. So I'm gonna put this one on another wall. You can put it on any surface, really, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put it on the crate over here. So we are going to set it back to zero and put it up against the wall. And then I'm going to select the shotgun outline. I'm gonna resize it a little bit so it looks better. And we should be able to buy that weapon now as well. So now we just need to set the weapon in the script to five, that is the shotgun. And actually in the script, I put equals equals six on the on the buy ammo. Change that to five. I was it was a mistake. The shotgun is five. You can check what they are in the prefabs folder. Each weapon will have the index. So now that it's at five, we should be able to buy a shotgun. So if you hit play, go over to our new shotgun wall emblem. I need ten dollars. So now we have our shotgun. We have, so now we have multiple wall emblems that you can buy weapons for. You can adjust the price to whatever you want. The ammo will always be a fifth or whatever you code it to be of the price of the main weapons. And that's all we're gonna go over today. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe as we release a couple of these videos a week and we always release videos giving away free assets and such. So it would help us out a lot. And next time we will probably be going over the mystery box. Uh, which we already built in a previous video, but we will be adding all our guns to it and doing the finishing touches on the mystery box So you won't want to miss that. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot, and we will see you guys next time